Welcome back Hot Wheels fans. Today we are looking at two complete series of premium car culture. Uh, Slide Street and Mountain Drifters is the more recent of the two sets. All five vehicles from each getting opened up for a full loose review. As well from Car Culture Premium, I've got the Cyberpunk Porsche 911. Extremely hard to come by. That's also coming out of the package. And we're going to look at all the artwork as well, of course, beforehand. The Forza Horizon 5 Mitsubishi Jurassic Park Veterinary Vehicle rounding out that bunch. I didn't get the full five vehicle set there because the other one was a scooter and I think a spaceship or something. So I don't really collect those things. Um, didn't quite have enough room to stand everything up here, but this is what you're going to see in the video today. And also this uh, Disney Pixar Onward van with quite a funky galactic paint job on it that I decided to pick up randomly. So let's get everything out for a full loose review. And we're going to be parking everything in the Accelerator's car garage parking lot. And the very first car we're looking at today is Cyberpunk 2077 Porsche 911 Turbo 930. Now I have not had the opportunity to play this game, but I was following it. Uh, quite closely when it first was being launched, uh, pre-launch, I guess it was about a year or two ago now, maybe a year ago. Um, huge in-depth game. I, I'm not even going to go into the plot because I, I'll probably just mess it all up. I, I really haven't done my homework on it, but an incredibly detailed open world sort of uh, RPG type game. And I'm not really sure where this car was found in that game or if it even is. But it is super cool, and I'm here to talk to you about the Hot Wheels, so just want to let you guys know, if I had started playing Cyberpunk 2077, I don't think I'd be making Hot Wheel videos because I would have gotten so addicted to that game. I know, I knew to stay away. That was my that was my takeaway from it, so uh, I hope that suffices for my intro to that, and uh, for the rest of the cars, it will be a little briefer. So let's take a look at this car. Now... I know some people are pained by me opening these packages, but I'm a loose collector of Hot Wheels. And um, I do buy these cars in duplicate. So I do have another one that's going to be uh, a wall hanger because the card art is so awesome. But so is this car. It's awesome to see it out of the package and all the detail on it. Really, really hard for, uh, car to find at the stores. They sold out immediately, even the hobby stores pre-sold these cars completely out they've got the rest of the set for the most part some of them are missing the uh mitsubishi but yeah this one was a goner so you can your best bet is to try and buy a case of those on ebay or something of the sort uh so the next one i would say is the next coolest in the set and they are not on the back it's individual card art so i'm not going to be able to show you the other two i didn't get uh is the mitsubishi lancer evolution 4 and very cool artwork once again. This is from the Forza Horizon 5 video game, which also would be extremely uh, addictive for me. So I haven't played that game either, but definitely was on my radar of games I wanted to play if I was going to get into video game playing. So I'm just scratching at a little circle. It looks like an orange drop of paint. Probably going to be able to take that off the window carefully with a polishing rag. But we've got real rider wheels on all these cars. Uh, rubber tires, all metal base. This one's got the satin black finish. Made in Indonesia, 2020. Very heavy and very nice uh, decorations all over this car. The carbon fiber look hood. And these cars are rollers. Uh, I'm questioning maybe I would get out the uh, six-lane super raceway and do something fun with these cars after I open them. But I, they are getting so pricey, I would dare want to put a chip on them. So now we have the Jurassic Park. Mercedes-Benz Unimog uh, U1300L. These are pretty cool. Normally seen as military vehicles or UN sort of rescue supply vehicles. This one, of course, being in the movie guise of Jurassic Park, which is awesome. An awesome movie that I just finished watching not too long ago. Big fan of the Jurassic Park series as well. So here we have the Unimog 1300, and it's got a plastic back with simulated windows and doors on it. Good metal base with rubber tires, big meaty tires at that, and looking like beadlock rims. you got the snorkel on it made of rubber. So that's a pretty sweet ride. Now we're going to make some room because we're going to open up the Mountain Drifters, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. These cars are drifting in the mountains. And as for Slide Street, well, they're sliding around on the street. <laughs> Just my two cents. 
Well, I said I was going to put these cars in the uh, garage diorama setup there, but right now we've just uh, got so many cars to look at. They're going to have to come out and we'll place them after, I suppose. So first and foremost, number one out of five in the uh, Mountain Drifters series. There's all five cars illustrated on the back. Uh, most recent collection at the time of filming as well, important to note. Still quite available, as is the uh, other series as well, if you look around on eBay and various uh, sellers. But we have the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Truino. Am I saying that right? Truino? Tr Truno? I don't know. But it's got these awesome graphics on the side. And um, all the way around. The most detail I've seen on Hot Wheels to date at this point, I would say. Superb graphics. i uh, got this illustration. Almost looks like a real photograph in the background of a, a mountain road with forest and a dinged up guardrail. And then maybe a CG generated AE86 here. Drifting in the corner. You got mountain drifters kind of silhouetted in the uh, shoulder of the road. And that's about it. And they're all going to be different. So each one is on a different section of road, which I think is amazing. And here we go, obliterating the artwork as we get the car out of the package. Again, as I said, I keep these cars in duplicate. I buy them in uh, sealed cases from various sellers where I can. You have to be on these, sometimes even pre-sale though, because they just are going like mad these days. It's very hard to get them, and they seem to go up in value rapidly. So, whereas you can typically get them for about, uh, I guess, $10, $10 a car U.S., when first released, they do seem to go up from there by about 50%. Sometimes they come back down, but uh, these these sort of um, JDM cars have been holding their value and increasing rapidly. A lot of interest in this sort of car. So I don't know anything about the graphics on this car, to be quite honest. It's um, obviously some Japanese uh, cartoon sort of things uh anime but i don't know anything about it so pretty cool though big respect and uh let's move on to the next mountain drifter which is going to be uh this very subdued looking mitsubishi 3000 gt vr4 and here again a different section of actual highway perhaps with power lines and uh some sort of reinforced slope very cool looking car these could be real cars i don't even know they look real but with uh, the way video games have gone these days and CGI, it's hard to say what's real and what's not anymore. And I'm sure that's only going to get more confusing as uh, the days and years go on. So we've got a little bit of packaging abrasion on the roof, which a little bit of polishing will take that off. Definitely using some polishing compound because Hot Wheels does use very strong, uh, high quality paint and uh, clear coats on these cars. So they can definitely be cleaned up a little bit. As long as there's no chips and we're not seeing any chips but just a ton of awesome details right down to the windows and interior i'm going to try not to spend too much time on any one car here because we do have quite a few to look at and so you're going to want to see them all i would assume next one out of the package number three of five the honda 2003 honda nsx type r and here it is in white the flowery section of uh, a certain corner, maybe of the Nuremberg ring. Who knows? Who knows? Mountain Drifters. Very cool. Love this car. I remember looking at a 1991 Acura NSX when I was about 20, 22 years old. And uh, it was red. All original. It was $19,000 Canadian. These cars now even a 1991 version in good shape would be worth like close to a hundred thousand dollars or more. It's absolutely crazy. So anyways, that's why I buy me 164 scale. And on the four of five, we have the LB ER 34 super silhouette Nissan skyline. This one's going to definitely be a hard one to get to, I would think, but with all the craze of skylines now with, uh, with what's his name there. Um, Whistling Diesel buying Skylines and wrecking them. There's going to be even more attention on Skylines. So, Look at this. Oh, wow. That looks like it smells good, doesn't it? Oh, and it does. 
That brings back some nostalgia. 100% every time. One of those big, glossy, painted cars. Super heavy. All metal. Just metal on metal. Things like a friggin' paperweight. Five-spoke wheels. Low-profile rubber tires. Yellow roll bar is what really stands out in this car for me. I think this is going to be a hard one to find in the stores. 100%. I don't mean to be saying that causing up any sort of inflationary buying on these things uh, i am reviewing this set already late in the game but uh, that's my two cents on this one i never see these things in the stores here in uh, ontario canada because well they just get bought up immediately even by the sales staff let alone before the men in trench coats arrive in at 6 55 in the morning uh, number five out of five we have the toyota 95 toyota celica gt4 Again, another very natural, normal-looking paint job with tons of detail. Thank you, Hot Wheels, for listening to your fan base on what we like. A nice mixture of race vehicles and uh, decorated vehicles, as well as lots and lots of sweet-looking uh, single paint job, not too over-the-top sort of looking cars. We've all been asking for these for a while, and they look amazing like this. Great, great content as well. The cars themselves are absolutely great choices. And the new wheels and tires, I really can't say enough about Hot Wheels. It's just such a fun, fun hobby to collect these things. So that is the uh, Mountain Drifters five-car set right there. And um, behind it, we've got the other car culture cars aforementioned. We're going to look at Slide Street next. But first, just as an intermissionary between two complete sets, we might as well take a closer look at this Onward Pixar van, the, ooh, I don't even know what the, how to say that, the Geneever, the Geneever, I don't know, didn't watch this movie, don't have uh, little ones, so, oh, I hate it when that happens, oh no, just want the vehicle, give me the vehicle, there it is, so let's see if this is based on any real vehicle or not, it kind of looks like it might be a Chevy or a Dodge, I don't know. But I bought it because it's got some rusting on it, and uh, I just thought it was kind of cute. It's an interesting looking vehicle. Spare tire cover is very unique. And the paint job looks terrific. Definitely belongs at uh, VanFest in Almere, Ontario, each spring of the year. Great little gathering of custom vans. Had a little trouble to focus. We're going to put that down and get ready to go into Slide Street. Nice roller, too. They're all great rollers. Let's take a look at Slide Street now. This was released, I believe, early summer of 2022, although it may have been earlier. Maybe May. Um, again, you've got five vehicles in the set, all depicted on the back here. Slide Street. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, mostly uh, looks like import vehicles. So we've got the Nissan Silvia S14 here with the Formula Drift livery on it. Let's check it out out of the package. It's got a little protective uh, wipe on the back. And there you have it. Another carbon fiber look hood on this car. And... Beautiful tail lights and reverse lights and everything all depicted. Very cool. Next one, two of five, is the 20 Toyota GR Supra. Again, doing donuts on the pavement. Let's see what this one looks free and clear of the package. Nice. Number 21. G-Ready, it says on the sides. And those big white five spokes. Rear spoiler. Chrome roll cage in there as well. Looks fantastic. And here we have another Toyota AE86 Sprinter. Truno, I'm going to call it because I don't know how to pronounce it. Why don't I know how to pronounce that? I don't know. I just always call the AE86. Well, here's one with a nice kind of vintage sort of stripe livery on the sides. Headlights are popped up. The gold four spokes. TRD license plate. 
Lots of detail. Let's take a look at the two AE86s side by side. We've got different wheels on them. Otherwise, true to the car. Everything looking the same. Awesome. Four or five is the Pandem Subaru BRZ. Very cool. With the Falcon tires livery on it. And uh, really nice looking car. Yellow tinted headlights. Full spoiler kit, of course. Got the web sight on the back. Plastic spoiler fin. And those multi-spoke silver rims with the real rider tires. One more car to look at, and that is the 20 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. So not all imports, as I had said. I mean, when I say imports, it's because I'm in the North American area. So this would be considered a domestic, being a Ford product. Even though Fords are made around the world. So that's a bit kind of a silly statement in itself, I would think. Number 25, and this one has the most extravagant paint job, if we could focus. Fun Haver, it says on it. It's got the same multi-spoke wheels now in a neon yellow. And just a great looking paint job. Again, all metal, so. Got all the cars lined up there. Now, I guess we'll put them in the parking lot for a last little show and uh, shine. Let's go in for one final close look at all of these shiny new Hot Wheel Premium Car Culture cars. Heading for my display walls in the museum. I uh, probably could have left the little garage on the parking lot as well, but I wanted to make sure that we had full room to appreciate all of these awesome, awesome looking cars. Fantastic paint jobs, wheels, and quality all the way around. Could not be happier with this bunch, other than how much they cost, but... That's part of collecting, and these are going up in value, it would seem. So if you're after any of these, of course, as always, happy hunting.